evening, this is Akashvani Kohima. I am Satsang Mu with the evening bulletin. The headlines. North East gets its first Vande Bharat Express train. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says, Guwahati to New Jalpaikuri Vande Bharat will boost tourism, enhance connectivity in region. State PGB President Temchen Imna Along says, Nagaland is on right track of progress and development under PGB government. Commissioner and Secretary Y. Kiketo Sema says, Leprosy continues to be public health challenge, calls for support of all stakeholders to make leprosy free country. And, students intending to pursue BA Economics honors needs to have mathematics as one of the subjects at higher secondary level. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi flagged off North East India's first Vande Bharat Express in Guwahati this afternoon via video conferencing. Inaugurating the Guwahati to New Jalpaiguri connecting train, Modi congratulated the people of Assam in West Bengal. He said infrastructure is for all without discrimination, creating various opportunities including employment, empowerment and improved quality of life. He said that this infrastructure development is a true manifestation of social justice and secularism. Modi expressed confidence that this new means of connectivity will further strengthen the age-old bond between Assam and West Bengal. He also emphasized that, that the impact of Vande Bharat Express on tourism will not only benefit Assam and West Bengal, but also Meghalaya and Arunachal Pradesh. The Prime Minister also inaugurated a newly constructed diesel electric multiple unit and mainline electric multiple unit shed at Lumding in Assam. He dedicated 182 road kilometers of newly electrified sections which will open the doors for trans trains running on electric traction to enter Meghalaya. Meanwhile, Railways Minister Ashwini Vaishnav informed that a total of 59 railway stations in the Northeast are being designed to meet world-class standards. State BJP President Temchen Imna Along said the government, under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, has worked towards achieving the goal of three peace, progress and prosperity in Nagaland. He said Nagaland is on the right track of progress and development under the BJP government. Briefing media persons on the commemoration of the nine years of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government at state, at state BJP office in Kohima today, Along said the state has taken rapid steps towards peace, harmony and stability. He also said the BJP is committed to the equitable development of all regions of Nagaland and does not discriminate between regions of the state. The state BJP president said the government is not only committed to the development of the state but also sensitive to protect the fundamental rights, culture, heritage and tradition of all tribes and communities. Highlighting the achievements of the central government, Along said funds for the development of Naglin has been increased four times under the NDA government as compared to the tenure 2004 to 2014. He said the government is doing the work of withdrawing AFSPA in a phased manner adding that AFSPA has been withdrawn from 15 police stations in the state. Along further added that Naglin is a leader among the northeastern states in undertaking various citizen-centric initiatives such as Brathan Mandri Vandan Yojana and also emerging as an example to the world for its focus on indigenous entrepreneurship and youth welfare. Commissioner and Secretary Health and Family Welfare Naglin Y. Kiketo Sema said leprosy continues to be a public health challenge despite advances in all spheres of medical science. He said this during a two-day regional review meeting of National Leprosy Eradication Program for Northeastern States and training on National Strategic Plan for Leprosy 2024-2027 and Nikushd 2.0 that commenced in Kohima today. He said, as of date, Naglin is having 31 cases, out of which 90% are from Dimapur and 80% are non-Naga migrant workers. He said, Assam, Naglin and Tripura were the top three in Northeast states with leprosy. However, Naglin was the first state to achieve WHO target of elimination status, one case in 10,000 populations in 1998. Kiketo said India's current prevalence rate of leprosy in 2021-22 to was of 0.45 as against the world current prevalence of 0.34 per 10,000 populations. Asserting that India is making progress and new leprosy cases are declining every year, he said our nation has pro promised to leprosy free by 2027, three years ahead of the Sustainable Development Goal. To this, Kigedo called for support and coordination of all the stakeholders, adding that government alone cannot achieve its goal. On the occasion, Commissioner and Secretary Y. Kigedo, along with other health officials from the Ministry, released the National Framework for Integration of Mental Health Services for Leprosy with Patients. A video of on Nikush 2.0 and Leprosy Flipbook and poster on National Leprosy Eradication Program were also released 
released. You're listening to Akash Vani Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News On Air app and YouTube channel AIR News Kohima. Students in Nagaland who are intending to pursue BA Economics Honours needs to have mathematics as one of the subjects at the higher secondary level. Nagaland Board of School Education and BSc said this changes is brought in by the University Grants Commission UGC regarding admission to BA Economics Honours under Choice Based Credit System CBCS. The NBSC said this policy will be adopted by Nagaland University as well as other universities across the country. NBSC therefore reminded all heads of higher ed secondary schools offering economics subject as an elective subject have been requested to take note of the changes taking place in the educational ecosystem and are encouraged to take necessary actions so that students who are desiring to study BA economics honors in the future are not deprived of the opportunity. Further, heads of institutions are also requested to disseminate the information and sensitize the students during the time of admission to help students choose the correct subject combination at an early stage. ISRO's GSLV F-12 rocket with NVS 0.1 satellite was successfully launched at 10.42 from Sriharikota today. The rocket lifted off from the second launch pad at Satish Dhawan Space Center and injected NVS-01 satellite in its geosynchronous orbit. The satellite weighing 2,232 kilograms is of the first of the second generation satellites envisaged for the navigation with Indian constellation series. India will join three other nations in setting up not only a constellation series but also on the operationalization of the rupidium clock made indigenously. Minister Housing and Mechanical P. Pashangmong Chang visited construction site of Twin Tower, Twaraka, New Delhi. He was accompanied by OSD Backward to CM, EE Housing, JE and Contractor. Chang also visited the renovation work which was going on in Naglin House at RK Puram. Advisor Minority Affairs and Sericulture Im Kongmar along with the Director T. Sani Bonginar and officials of the Directorate visited government sericulture farms located at Tizema village in Kohima, Woka village, Woka, VK in Zinipoto, Umma village in Mokokchung, Dansiri Power village in Jumukidima, Samakuri village in Dimapur and district sericulture offices at Mokokchung and Dimapur from 19th to 22nd of this month. During the meeting, the advisor appealed to the farm officials to work hard with dedication and to emphasize more on farm production to generate more revenue. He suggested organizing awareness programs for the farmers from time to time and also selecting the farmers based on their performances. The advisor also remarked that the visit was a good learning experience where he had the opportunity to meet people working at the grassroots level. Akash Vani Kohima will start the Pachuri dialect news from June 1. The 10 minutes dialect news will be broadcast from primary channel at 11.35 a.m. while 5 minutes duration of the news will also be broadcast at Akashwani Kohima FM Tragaban. With addition of the Pojuri dialect news, regional news unit Akashwani Kohima will broadcast a total of 17 news bulletins, 2 regional news and 15 dialect news daily. And to end the news, the headlines once again. North East gets its first Vande Bharat Express train. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says Guwahati to New Jalpaiguri Vande Bharat will boost tourism, enhance connectivity in region. State BJP President Demchan Imna Along says Nagaland is on right track of progress and development under BJP government. Commissioner and Secretary Y.K. Geto Sema says leprosy continues to be a public health challenge, calls for support of all stakeholders to make leprosy free country, and students intending to pursue BA economics honors needs to have mathematics as one of the subjects at higher secondary level. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Have a pleasant night.